I want to bring in now Republican Senator David Perdue of Georgia, also of Georgia, like Congressman Lewis. And Senator, thank you for joining us uh, this morning. I know that you're one of President Trump's closest allies in the Senate. How do you respond to what we just heard from Congressman Lewis, that he believes President Trump is a racist? Well, of course, I think that's ridiculous. Um, I grew up in the South. I fully understand what that means. But uh, the congressman and I just disagree on a couple of things. First, um, I'm from Georgia. I've been in those schools he's talking about, and he's exactly right that uh, regardless of race, religion, uh, anything, um, those schools, those kids are doing great together. The problem is, is when you get to the Washington politicians, the, the career politicians who want to pander to their base, what we have going on here right now is a gross misrepresentation. This all started with a total misrepresentation of a meeting that happened last Thursday. And people forget that just two days earlier, this president, in an open meeting, with media in there for almost an hour, George, um, debated this with both sides, Democrats, Republicans, House members, and the Senate. And what we forget is that 72 percent of Americans want us to solve this problem. We want to solve the DACA problem. We want to have border security with a wall. We want to end chain migration and end this archaic diversity lottery. That's the scope that we all agreed to on Tuesday. Then on Thursday, we had a meeting. And coming out of that meeting, we had a gross misrepresentation of what happened in that meeting. But it's not the first time we've had a gross misrepresentation well, but, by that well, individual. Let's get, let's let me get finish, into George. that. No, let me finish, George. Well, I want let to know what the gross misrepresentation was. The gross misrepresentation was that language was used in there that, that was not used, and also that the tone of that meeting was, was not contributory and not constructive. In 2013, Senator Durbin also made the same accusation against a Republican leader in a meeting with President Obama and said that it was he, he chewed out the president. It was so disrespectful to President Obama, we couldn't even have the meeting. That's what he said in 2013. Later that day, the president's own press secretary came out and said, and I quote, it did not happen. This is about a gross misrepresentation. It's not the first time. These people have been trying for 35 years to solve this immigration problem without success for one reason, and that is I don't believe they're serious about trying to solve that right now. You just said that what Senator Durbin said, the president, the words the president used were not used. You said that that, that did not happen. But it's not just Senator Durbin who said that. I mean, Senator Lindsey Graham has put out a statement saying that he countered the president's words in the moment, and he told his Republican colleague from South Carolina, to Tim Scott, that the reports of, of that meeting were basically accurate. Those comments had been confirmed by, by multiple sources. But you're saying it didn't happen? Multiple sources? There were six of us in the room. I haven't heard any of those six sources other than, than Senator Durbin talk about what was said. Look, well, this Senator was a Graham private told meeting Senator with the Scott this was that a the private reports meeting. were basically accurate. Well, that's, you don't have to deal with him. It basically is an operative word. The trouble here is that Senator Durbin came and brought a proposal. And let's put this in perspective. But, but, but you know, I want to get to the proposal. Series. But you're saying you're saying flat out, definitively, the president did not say those words. I'm saying that this is a gross misrepresentation. It's not the first time Senator Durbin has done it, and it is not productive to solve so the problem. So what did the president look, say? Most people in America, George, want us to solve the DACA situation. Republicans and Democrats want to solve the DACA situation. But we also want to make sure that we're not back here in five years doing the same thing again. What we have to do is secure our borders, George. This is a serious issue. It's not just an immigration issue. It's a national security issue. The president wants a wall. And we're not talking about 2,000 uh, miles here. We're talking about 600 miles or so. We're not talking about anything that's unreasonable or that the Democrats have already voted for in the past. Uh, the second thing is we've got to, or third thing, we've got to end chain migration. And this is where 72 percent of our population agrees. We need to limit it to the, the worker, the spouse, and the immediate family. 72 percent, George, almost 60 percent believe that we should move to a merit-based immigration system similar to what the commission did when you were in the White House in the 90s. Uh, President Clinton received a report from Barbara Jordan and a presidential commission on immigration that said they wanted to end chain migration and move more toward an immigration system based on merit and who people were, not where they were from, which is what our system well, is, more like Canada the, and Australia. The supporters of this bipartisan deal say they do limit chain migration, that there is some border wall funding in there as well, about $1.6 billion. I want to get more on that, but, 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 but just to be clear, I'm, I'm, I'm not clear on exactly what you're saying happened in this meeting. You say it was a gross misrepresentation. Misrepre Senator Durbin has been very clear. Senator Graham has told others that the reports were basically accurate. Are you saying the president did not use the word that has been so widely reported? I'm telling you he did not use that word, George, and I'm telling you it's a gross misrepresentation. How many times do you want me to say that? 
what is happening here is the same thing that happened in 2013, where you had a press secretary of your president who said it didn't happen. What did happen in that meeting was a very constructive conversation about how to move forward. We were listening to a proposal that the Democrats are bringing forward. It's not a serious proposal, but $1.8 billion uh, has already been basically approved. It's in the current budget. Uh, what we want to do is get serious about a compromise. Look, this, this deal has got to find symmetry. And so far, the potential is there. We can solve the DACA. We may even be able to solve some of the dreamer uh, numbers that uh, uh, Senator Durbin wants to talk about. But we have to talk about ending chain migration and securing our borders, George. You're sounding, it's no more complicated than that. You're sounding more optimistic than the president this morning. He just put out that tweet saying DACA is probably dead. Well, unless the Democrats get serious about negotiating, I mean, what we have to do is find common ground. But both parties, and Americans want this, both parties want to solve the DACA issue. And again, I keep coming back to these statistics. 80% of Americans want the DACA situation fixed, but 75, almost 75% want the, the chain immigration system fixed once and for all. So we're not back here in five years with the same problem. So you're saying you're only, you're, you're only going to see a deal if we have DACA in the context of overall immigration reform. You're against that more limited deal, DACA for border security, in order to keep the government open. It's not a symmetric deal. I've done big deals before, George, and big deals like this have to be symmetric. What we've done, though, and this is serious, we, we have limited the debate from the comprehensive debate that's failed three times in the past 11 years, George, to now we're dealing just with the legal immigration system. 1.1 million legal immigrants come into our country every year, up from 300,000 just 40 years ago. And what we're doing is focusing on four things. The president has been consistent all along. I've been consistent. Senator Cotton has been consistent. That any deal on DACA has got to include border security, including a wall, and the end of chain migration. That's been consistent uh, for the past year.